Jungling. A priority is associated with each precise, and the CPU is allocated to the precise with the highest priority. Equal priority processes are scheduled in first come, first serve order. An SGF algorithm is simply a priority algorithm where the priority is the inverse of the next CPU burst. The larger the CPU burst, the lower the priority and vice versa. So let's look at the example. Assuming all processes arrive at time zero, we have five processes all together. And here this column gives the CPU burst time in millisecond. And this is the priority. So because all the processes arrive at time zero, so the Gantt chart is like the following. At time zero, because P2 is uh, sorry, the smaller the number, the highest the priority. First, I have to emphasize the smaller the number, the higher the priority. So because P2 is the highest priority, so first schedule P2 to run on CPU. Its burst time is 1. After P2 terminates, we find that uh, P5 with the highest priority, so P5, then we see P1, then P3, then P4. So we also calculate the average turnaround time and also the average waiting time. As for turnaround time of each precise, we use the finish time minus its arrive time. Because all precise arrive at time zero, so we get the turnaround time. As for waiting time, we use turnaround time minus its CPU burst time. We get waiting time for each precise. So this is the example. Okay. And uh, as for the priority shuttling, the most important is the priority for each precise. So how to the pre how to give the priority? Priority can be defined either internally or externally. Internally defined priorities use some measurable quantity or quantities to compute the priority of a precise. For example, we can use time limits, memory requirements, the number of open fields, and the ratio of average I/O burst to average CPU burst have been used in computing priorities. External priorities are set by criteria outside the operating system such as the importance of the precise, the type and amount of funds being paid for computer use, the department sponsoring the work, and other, often political factors. Priority schedules can be either preemptive or non-preemptive, just like set shortest job first Shuttling. Okay, if <coughs> we use preemptive shuttling, that means uh, when the newly arrived precise, when a precise arrives at ready queue, its priority is compared with the priority of the currently running precise. A preemptive priority shuttling algorithm will preempt the CPU if the priority of the newly arrived precise is higher than the priority of the currently running precise. If we use non preemptive priority shutting algorithm, that means we just put the newly arrived precise at the height of the queue because its priority is higher than the priority of current running precise. Okay? The, a major problem with priority shutting algorithm is indefinite blocking or starvation. 
a person that's, that is ready to run but waiting for the CPU can be considered blocked. A priority shutting algorithm can leave some low priority process waiting indefinitely. In a heavily loaded computer system, a steady stream of high priority process can prevent a low priority process from ever getting the CPU. A solution to the problem of indefinite blockage of low priority processes is aging. Aging involves gradually increasing the priority of processes that wait in the system for a long time. For example, if priorities range from 127 to 0, we would increase the priority of waiting per size by 1 every 15 minutes. Eventually, even a precise with an initial priority of 127 would have the highest priority in the system and would be executed.